Hello everybody. So I'm in the church and I've met uh, a couple of homeless people. And this church are so kind, they let them come in and dry their blankets. There's their sleeping bags. You know, anybody who's in denial about people being hungry in this, con in this country and being homeless, I've got news for you because I, I'm in here with three homeless people at the moment and lovely people. Uh, I won't put their faces on camera, they don't want to, but... Hi, my name's Cathy. What's Darren, your name? Darren. That's Darren. Yeah. So Darren, you came in to get warm and dry, yeah, is that yeah, right? That's it, that's warm it. and dry. Just stay in the warm, yeah. Isn't it great that we have these yeah, churches to is, come in it is, it is. and get warm and dry? Hi guys. Yeah, so there wouldn't be nowhere else to go. Really? You have nowhere else to go? No, no. Oh. What are the hostels like, Darren? Dangerous? Never got in one. You've never never got never never got a bed. You've never been able to get a bed. I, I know that sounds ridiculous, but officially I'm not homeless because I'm in a split up with me ex. So the marriage breakup thing so upsets she, everything. So she's in the gap with the kids, and I'm on the street. Okay. And That's... when I say go into town at night, I don't mean go to Grafton Street. Go down the back lanes and see the people sleeping in the cardboard at three in the morning. Yeah. Forget them who were in the in the passages tapping and that begging. Yeah. They're not homeless. The homeless are the ones that are sleeping out. Yeah. You know, yeah. Or, you know, like I've had a chest infection the last month. Yeah. Can't clear it with antibiotics. My house in bits. Yeah. This is this is again. I'm coming across this problem constantly. Uh, you're very sick. Yeah. From being yeah. out in the cold and the damp. Yeah. Do you have a tent? Yeah. You have it, a tent yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Why? Okay. Because when I have spare tents, I drop down and I, you know, just so you have a tent for tonight, have you? Yeah, Have you had any yeah. trouble from the guards moving you on with the tents? Because one guy um, was arrested for it. I had one tent destroyed on us. Oh my God. But it's, at the moment it's up in the air who done it. I've got an idea. Okay. And, I, and it wasn't the guards. No. You know, Somebody maybe just wanting to move you on. And yeah. Stuff like, like, well, like where we are, it's pretty quiet. So we, no, we, don't, we haven't had the guards okay. around. Okay. But in the mornings, if you're sleeping out in lanes or behind bins, then you get a boot off the cop as you can. They kick you? Yeah. Oh my God. Now we're in the house of God, people, you and you've just heard you, that. Or you get woke up by junkies coming around looking for needles at night. Because they this think so because, because you're homeless, you're a drug addict, which yeah. isn't and true. That's right. That And I'm finding that more and more. The more homeless people um, I've spoken to and went on video, they're not they're not junkies and no, they're not alcoholics. No. They're just genuine homeless people. No. This country is on its knees. Yeah, definitely. What do you think? It's worse than I've ever. I'm back here 20 years. Is it worse than England? Do you feel, find Dublin yeah, City? Yeah, definitely. Dublin definitely, City. Yeah. Now you've heard that. This man. What part of England were you in? Birmingham. Birmingham. Very big city. Huge population probably bigger than their, uh, the entire population of Ireland. Oh. And he said the homeless situation, the homeless crisis in Ireland is worse than Birmingham City and London and put together probably. It's a fucking joke. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. So we have a homeless... Uh, the I big, mean, the you, only have, you only have to wonder what the tourists must think. Yes, I've often When they're walking talked. around that night and they're in shock, you know. Yeah. Like I was sleeping at the Gaiety their performance when I was first made homeless, and it was Cardboard City come 10 o'clock at night. And what the Cardboard rage. City. And we have Americans coming here on holiday. Yeah, it's with Cave yeah. Meal of Folger, but they see, that's what they see. Yeah, oh, no, that's The exactly. guards are kicking everybody out of Tampa Bay, right, in the yeah. morning time, they're yeah. the homeless. Because you don't want the tourists to see the homeless. That's oh. right, they don't want the tourists. So but, what do the guards do then? But you they, see, they can't stop you bedding down at night. Yeah. So if you're asleep in a cardboard box and a tourist walks by after going to a pub at one in the morning, yeah. he's got you. So they're trying to make everything look rosy in the garden to the tourists. Yeah, it's not. Uh, you know, diddly eye. Cave in a fault. Policy they have an unofficial policy to kick. This is with this is. Force what's your name? What's your name? Your name is Stephen. Stephen. Pleasure to meet you. Force My name is Captain. The kickers are attempt by. I've done it to me many a time. Right. And my mate was 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 uh, Hatton. And physically abused as well. Oh my God! By the oh, guards. By the guards. Just to move you, to make Temple to Bar look diddly dee for the yeah, tourists. Of course. People, people, anybody who's in denial out there and thinks that we don't have people starving on our streets and we don't have homeless, a homeless crisis. I beg, I beg you, 
Go and walk the streets of Dublin like me. It's only about five o'clock now and I've already, go I'm late, in the church. Go late. When, and later, yeah. When all the fake beggars have gone back home and, yeah, yeah. and it's the real homeless people out. I know. Look, I'm in here with these guys and lovely. Don't be afraid to speak to homeless people. Don't be afraid to strike a conversation. They're just people like me and you, beautiful souls. And they're, you know, there's these two people came into this church to pray and also because they know it's safe and it's warm and they dry their clothes. And how anybody can put the Catholic Church down, I do no, not know because no. these people always have the doors open for you, don't yeah, they? They allow the, you? Yeah, they're the only ones that keep us in the warm, feed us in Smithfield. The Catholic Church? Yeah, yeah. There you go, people. And they've been put down and down yeah. and down, infiltrated by Marxists. That's yeah, what the Catholic yeah, Church was. Yeah. And yet these homeless like, people... I've never, I've never seen a thing wrong with any of the priests in here. Yeah. And I'm an Anglican Church of Ireland. There you go. Yeah, there They're you go. They're so good. They're so yeah. good. So people, there you go. The Catholic Church has been demonised. And yet these homeless people have told me when we need warmth and we need to dry up and we need something to eat, the Catholic Church are the only people who open their arms to you. Is that right? Yeah. There you go. Praise the Lord. So, um, Stephen and Darren. and Darren, it was lovely to meet you. Yeah. And I didn't want to put your net. You don't want to yeah, put no, your faces no, out there. No, That's no, understandable. Really. Thank you so much for your interview. No worries. And Margaret, I'm in the church in Thomas Street, just like I said I was coming today. And there you go. I said I was being led by spirit. And the jackets that you gave me are being given to these two guys. And I've already given one out. So everybody out there. If you have anything spare, warm clothes, warm socks, buy extra when you're in pennies the weekend, go out and distribute umbrellas and dry clothes and even if it's only a five, five euro, help air homeless Irish people even on the streets. Even if you don't want to give money, yeah. buy someone a hot coffee. Yeah. yeah. That, that's just as good as any two euro donation. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. A drink, a hot drink. And you really appreciate that yeah, when people have time. done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, people. A homeless guy just said a coffee or a cup of tea yeah. is well appreciated. Yeah. Do you know what? You're a lovely guy. You're, I can, do you know what? I can see the Holy Spirit in your eyes. And you too, Stephen. So anyway, guys, I'm just... There you go. There's the proof. There's the evidence. Nothing. Somebody said, some uh, troll said on one of the videos there the other night, um, Sunday night, there's no such thing as hung, uh, hungry people on the streets. And I said, well, you go out onto the streets and you look with your own eyes and then you judge for yourself because there is, they're here, it's happening. And this is, this is really not a homeless crisis. I'll tell you what this is. This is an immigration crisis because our country is being flooded and flooded with illegal immigrants. And that's wrong because our people are suffering because of this, okay? And I'm an Irish Catholic, and I bear witness to the Example truth of a menu in a very affluent area of Dublin City, the Georgian Quarter. The prices, no doubt this is a beautiful restaurant, make no doubt about it. But the reason why I'm showing you the prices is because there's no shortage of business in these places. And I've just spoken to a young girl who's starving. And if you saw the cars that were parked around here, no shortage of business. A very affluent place. The houses. Let's just walk across the road. The point of me showing you that menu is because the 1% can walk in there no problem. No problem whatsoever. And they can buy whatever they like. And they can drink whatever they want. And there's people hungry and dying on our streets. And this is where the 1%, the rich and the nouveau riche, come to spend their money. Places like this. And I'm going around to the corner to show even nicer ones. And I have just found a girl dying of starvation on the street. And this is Ireland today. Well, people, on the 5th of December, we're going to rise up. 12 o'clock, 
outside the GPO, okay? On the 5th of December, outside the GPO at 12 o'clock. Be there by hook or by crook, because we're taking our country back by hook or by crook. The homeless people dare not go in there even to use the toilet. They get thrown out more than lightly. So I'm going to find some more people. I've just handed out my last tent. If anybody's out there, I've just handed out my last tent, okay? And I need, if anybody has tents that they used going to concerts or anything like that, could they give me them? They can drop them to, um, you don't have to give them personally to me. You can drop them uh, to, um, let me see what would be a good place. There's a little shop in Inchicore called Little Treasures. There's a second hand shop in Kimmage Village. Um, I can't remember the name of the shop. I'll get back on to you. That guy said that it would be okay to drop them in there. So if anybody has any tents, Sue Riders in Kimmage. Terry is the manager there. You can drop your tents there for me. People, the winter's going to be long and hard and I've ran out of my last tent. So I just need some, a few tents. It's lashing. It's absolutely lashing. I'm gonna stand under this shelter. Guess who it is? It's Marto. I've just met him in the rain. How are you? Not too bad, considering. Considering, are you st I'm still no sign of it? No, offer of not, not, um, somewhere to sleep. You now I have to say, people have been great. It's just I seem to be getting ignored by the council. Like they've been out looking at the tent. Right. Okay. I had to move it from where I had it over to there, as you right. can see. Oh, did you? Did you move it? Oh yeah, yeah, I moved it. Yeah. Okay. But, um, Do you want to show me where? Yeah. There. You can see it yourself. Are you in a pot? Is it wet? Or is it dry inside though? Uh, well, where I had it here, I was getting my own little swimming pool. Okay. But, um, so you've moved I've it? I've moved it, yet, so we'll okay. it up. But okay. like I said, I'd rather have a flat hat. Of course, yeah. I can't, I can't keep the way the weather's going. Like, I'm numb and... Oh, God. It's, it's just, it's horrible, you it's know. It's getting tougher by the day. It is, yeah. Um, I, I'm going to, hopefully, touch wood, I'm going to try open... Um, uh, go fund me. You and your own YouTube uh, yeah, channel. Yeah, my own channel. Yeah. Good. And the idea of it is to help myself, but then when <laughs> I'm help, when I help myself, get home, whatever I can put, I'd like to go into town and buy and like socks, jocks, t-shirts, food. You yeah. want to keep helping oh, yeah. the homeless? I want to help. Like I you do help now. The way people are helping me. I, Martin just didn't tell anybody. He goes up to the Phoenix Park. He walks well, up I and he wanna, distributes. I didn't want to be. He goes up. I know, I but want I want to tell them the great it. work you're doing as well, Martin. Yeah. Anything well, extra that Martin gets from his donations, you know, people drop to this um, centre. He goes and in return he distributes these socks well, and what, stuff. What I don't need. You give to the homeless yeah, people in I the Phoenix Park. You go up to the, usually the Phoenix Park, isn't it? Yeah, now someone Angel. tried to say that Angel. there wasn't anyone up there. And, and there was. if you went up, you'd, you wouldn't believe it. How many do you think is oh, up there, Mark? I'd say there's a hundred tents there now. Are and you there's serious? families and all. Oh. I don't know whether you're seeing that young child in town eating off the Yeah, ground. I did. How did you feel? Ah, uh, I, I felt sick. You're I sick. I felt of... sick. It was horrible. No child, and I mean no child, should have to do that. You this know? is the Ireland we live in today. This is Leo well, Varadkar's be, Ireland. It shouldn't be. I mean, I'm not being smart, right? Yes. There's foreigners and there's foreigners. We need foreigners, but we don't need the illegal foreigners. Yes. Do you get me? I'm not a racist. When I said everybody needs yes, a home, I meant mind. everybody, no matter where yes. in the world you're from. Yes. But I don't see why the foreign people are coming in legit are getting a bad name. Yeah. You get me? They are. Because they are. They are getting a bad They are. Name, you know what I mean? And we're always I mean, going to have immigrants, let's yeah, face it. Yeah, but like, I, I but mean, it, I think Ireland... But illegal is I dangerous. Think, yeah, but I think Ireland is too busy looking out to what other countries think of. If we were in their country, would we get the treatment they get? No. And that's all I mean. Yeah. Like I said, a caveman had a cave. Everyone deserves a home, no matter what colour your skin is. Yes. But do it legitly. You know, yeah. and I yeah. mean, like, 
Stop, I, stop I, making a fool of, stop, stop taking advantage. Well, look after your own. Charity and then, be and then, like, once everyone Charity in begins Ireland, at home. Yeah. I yeah. mean, look after the Irish and, and the people that are here legit. Yeah. And then we could say, right, well, now we can move on to try helping other countries. Yeah. Cri critical thinking. You know? That's critical thinking on yeah. your behalf, yeah, Martin. I mean, like, Common sense. That's ridiculous, you know. So do you think that the government are trying to uh, impress uh, yeah, I do. ambassadors no, I, from other countries? Said, and I've always said uh, what, and the, the rich. that you're busy thinking of the rich. Oh, yes, towards yes, Army yes. And other countries. Too busy. You know, so look after our own. And the stop. people that are here yeah. legit are getting a bad name yeah. from everyone else. And it's not right. From the ones who are not genuine yeah. asylum seekers yeah. and they're not genuine exactly. refugees. You know, yeah, I mean, refugees. I can yeah. understand asylum seeking. Yeah. I mean, when it's genuine. The countries they come from, I wouldn't like to live in. Yes. They could do it the right way. But they could make their countries great too, Martin. Like, they we're going to make well, our country at, great. Look, at, if they concentrated on their countries the way they do. And, and fall for their countries. You know? Yeah. Yeah. We had to fight for theirs. And that's why we have it the way we have it. But, but, we, but mean, we're going we downhill. We keep, our government can't keep using the resources for us to help other countries when other countries don't help us. Because we're going to just simply run out of it. That's do the maths. Recession. Yeah, um, it's on its way. It's people. on its way. You know, Another one. I mean, they're trying to say, what, 5,000 people are homeless? <laughs> They'd want to put that up to 20,000, and that's only the people that And you're not. out there, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I mean, nobody knows, you know? Martin, you know what? You, you're so wise. And yeah. will you join us on the 5th of I December will, at 12 o'clock outside will, the GPO? Will, and I'd like you to talk on the microphone, Martin. Would you do that for us? No problem. I'll do that for anyone on the streets. For the homeless that's people. That's why I told you I, I'd never show my face on camera. Yeah. But it got to the stage where if I didn't do no one else was. So you're an angel. I'm speaking for every homeless person in Ireland. Yes. And in every other country for that matter. Yes. We all need a home. We it's all it's the globalist. The yeah. greedy globalists are destroying. Yeah. I mean, like, we're not, we're not, we're not, like, we're human beings. People walk by homeless people like they're gonna get a disease or something. Yes. It's not right. No. I mean, would you walk past somebody that lived in a home? No. Why walk past a homeless person? Exactly. You know? And that's why, Martin, you know, your work and my work and D Wall, the great yeah. D Wall from Valley well, Fairmont. I'd just like to say hello to everybody. I'm still alive, so is Max. <laughs> And I appreciate yeah. it. I'd just like to let you all know I will be opening my own channel eventually. Yeah. So um, please log on and do what you can. And just remember, if you see someone on the street, please stop and ask them if they're okay. Yeah. Because we're only human at the end of the day. Yes. Like, you no, know, we're not lepers. Leprosy is gone a long time. Yes. So just have a heart. You Ladies know, you and don't gentlemen. Have to give somebody money to ask this is if wisdom. Okay. Good morning, everyone. You know, there's Martin. I'll go and see him today at some stage, check in on him, see is he okay. But I was just thinking about all you people out there who watch my channel, thank you for liking and supporting. Um, I just want to especially talk to the young people out there and tell you all that you are all so powerful and precious. But when we talk about how powerful you are, you don't even know how powerful you are. You probably are sitting at home in your bedroom and you know, you, you could be over the age of 21, still living at home with your parents. And you would love to have your own place, just like Martin would, so that you could have life experiences, just like I did when I was young. I left home at 18 and I got myself a nice, uh, flat, that's what we used to call them then, it was a flat, I was working, I got a little flat and I had an amazing uh, <clears throat> experience, you know, you feel all grown up, you learn how to pay the bills, you learn so much independence, you know. Um, Martin and I suppose all of you young people out there will never know what that's like because first of all you'll never be able to afford to rent an apartment or a house. It's impossible for you all. The government has made it impossible for any of you young people after working all week, you know, maybe in some crummy job that you hate and you have to go home to an overpacked bedroom 
overcrowding in your family home. You should be able to go home to your own little cave. Cave, as Martin calls it. Everybody deserves a cave, you know? As he said, cavemen had caves. But, you know, and we were speaking there the other night and he said the homeless, um, the suicide rates in this country are at epidemic levels because of the homelessness. The fact that young people don't feel that they'll ever be able to buy a house, rent a house. And it's just a sense of home, hopelessness. And then maybe they turn to drink and maybe they turn to drugs and because they just feel what's it all about. So what we want to say, me and Martin and, you know, our, I know a few other homeless people now and we were discussing this. We want to say, get off your video games. Don't play the video games. Get out there and try to change this country for you. Try and change it for your generation. Get out, go down to the TDs, go on marches, vote them out, go out and use your votes and don't vote for anybody in that doll. Vote for the new parties that are coming up, that want to do something for you. And most of all, help each other people. If somebody needs something next door, or if somebody next door needs something, maybe a sliced pan, like we did when we were kids, people helped each other. If someone needs some bread, and you have extra change in your pocket, you buy them a slice pan. Because what goes around comes around. Now the Irish people need to know that all they have to do is love one another and help one another. Because charity begins at home. Charity begins at home. And all these NGOs running these charities are taking big fat salaries for themselves and driving big fancy cars and they don't care about Martin and they don't care about anyone, only themselves. So charity begins at home, keep the money in your communities and help the people in your communities who need it most. That's what we were just saying. If we just kept it within our communities and help the people in our communities and then went down to the TD's office and let them have it and tell them you work for us and this is what we want. Start demanding affordable homes for yourselves. You are sovereign. You are sovereign citizens of this country and you own the wealth, not the government. The government works for you. And let them know that, that you employ them, not the other way around and lose your fears. Don't be afraid, lose your fear. Stand up and hold your head up high and fight for your rights. You have rights. Fight for your rights. And you have a right to have a roof over your head or a cave as Martin.